morning you guys it is saturday i am just about to head out to yoga i have these little purple pants on i think they're wonder unders from lululemon and then a little the align tank so cute and springy i'm pretending it's warm out but it's not really my bed is a mess because I just changed the sheets, but I'm washing the duvet cover, so that's still going on. And, oh, this is a lovely update. Last night, Rex jumped up on top of the mirror and literally, like, pulled it off the wall. And so, I'm not sure what to do about that. He keeps getting up on top of this mirror, too. Like, what do I do about that? Does anyone else have a cat that's just so mischievous <laughs> I don't want to say naughty oh also these sneakers are new how cute and then I'm gonna throw on this jacket over I bought this a couple weeks ago and have been wearing it non-stop it is the softest thing ever I don't know if they have it in other colors but I'm gonna have to figure out if they do because I can't stop wearing it <laughs> I just got to the yoga studio. I thought I was gonna be so late, but here I am like almost 10 minutes early, but I wanna go in and get a spot. So I will update you guys afterwards. I have a bunch of errands to run after yoga, which is just gonna be beautiful after I'm all sweaty because it's a vinyasa and it's gonna be hard, but it's okay. Um, and I'm definitely gonna need to stop and get a coffee or a matcha or something because I am dead a little, but all right, I'm gonna head in and I will talk to you guys afterwards. got done with yoga and drove to Birmingham. I'm currently in a parking garage and I'm gonna go grab coffee or matcha. I haven't decided exactly what I want. I'm trying to drink less coffee, but I love coffee so much. I really like matcha too. It's just skipping a coffee in the morning sounds painful. I'm just gonna grab that and then go to the mall. This yoga class, I wanted to tell you guys about it. It just felt so good to like flow, get in it, and her messaging was so good. She talked about, I'm I'm so not gonna put this eloquently. I'm trying to like, how do I phrase this? She, she started talking about like when you're uncomfortable and you're a kid, you like throw a tantrum. And as we get older, we're trained to find other ways to cope with being uncomfortable or our discomfort. Ultimately how we end up like storing a lot of that discomfort in our bodies, especially over the past year with the pandemic and everything, we've stored a lot of built up discomfort in our bodies. And it almost just feels like you need to exhale you know and just like let it all out honestly yoga has like saved me in the past year i don't know how if i didn't have yoga i would release all of my like built up stress and tension but yoga has just really helped me like learn to actually like stop and breathe like when i get stressed during the day i'll get it all worked up in my chest and to just like take deep belly breaths i guess and yeah okay <laughs> let's go It is already literally almost two o'clock. I don't even understand. I was in the mall for way too long and I ended up finding, I'll just show you. I found another bathing suit while I was in there that has been sold out online. So I was really excited about that. It is so cute. It has these little like peaches on it. Cute. And then the top, I usually don't like triangle tops, but this one was really cute. It has like this little like lacy detail here so and then i went to aritzia and i got this dress that i'm so excited about i think it is so cute it's like a midi dress and it is silk it's kind of like cream with all these watercolor patterns on it i thought it was so pretty and i put it on and i was like okay like i look a disaster but hugged me perfectly and felt so good so i'm excited to like go home and try that on 
actually with like a little heel and some makeup on anyways so then i was starving and i just went to naked fuel and got a smoothie what does it have in it banana uh cacao almond butter it was peanut butter but i changed it to almond butter dates cinnamon it honestly tastes like like a chocolate cinnamon shake it was supposed to have like protein in it too but i hate the taste of protein that like makes me nauseous so anyways i still need to get groceries i need to chug this and i'll probably update you when i get home maybe do a little grocery haul okay i just got home and i'm gonna put my groceries away but i thought i'd give you a really quick overview of everything i got pretty simple lots of basics i got a rotisserie chicken i do not eat meat but <laughs> and I'm also really bad at cooking it. I do eat seafood, but I bought this for Alec and honestly I give some to the cats too. I just like Don't worry if I give it to the cats. I literally like rinse it make sure it has absolutely no like seasoning or anything on it, but I Just cut this up and we'll like store in a container for sandwiches and stuff for Alec bunch of celery for juicing and same with the lemons I use those in my green juice broccoli these are some parsnips i really like cutting those up and like roasting them they're super good ginger again for juicing a couple little baby avocados i like the little ones often because excuse me did you just sneeze did you just sneeze that's that's their tunnel if you have cats you need a tunnel they love it they play with it all the time Anyways, I like the little avocados. Some green bananas. I hate really ripe bananas. I way prefer them when they're green. There's my helper. Um, I got some hummus. This is the Ithaca lemon dill. I've never tried this flavor, but sounded good. Come on. They want food. <laughs> uh, my favorite gluten-free English muffins. Love these. Some Rayo's pasta sauce. This, okay, I usually drink Oatly, but it's been out absolutely everywhere. There's a couple different ones I like, but this is a oat and seed oat milk by Three Trees. I've heard really good things about their almond milk, but I've been super into oat milk lately, so I'm excited to try this. These are the best tortilla chips ever. They are not healthy, but they are seasoned and they're so good. Um, let's see, I got some Simple Mills crackers. These are just a seed flour cracker. And then sun-dried tomato basil to eat with my hummus. I might have that now, honestly, for a little snack. And then some chips, of course. These are one of my favorites, little lentil chips. And then the best potato chips in the world, these Siete salt and vinegar. And last thing, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> last thing, these are just some chocolate-covered espresso beans. So that is all the groceries I got. I'm going to put them away now. to our Mother's Day brunch with Alex's family. I know I did a, I vlogged like a, say hi to the vlog, <laughs> montage of the morning. I was kind of, woke up, worked out, had coffee, and I'm so excited for brunch. We go to this restaurant for dinner often, but I've never been for breakfast, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. He's literally just standing here so sweet you guys it's so nice having a boyfriend i don't know the last time i've gotten my own gas i hate doing it so 
very nice to have my little personal gas pump. I literally had one mile to empty, but I didn't want to fill it myself yesterday. How pathetic is that? A little chilly out, so I put on this big coat, but I am just wearing this Abercrombie top from my last haul video and these white Zara jeans. And I just put on little sneakers with them. So that's the fit for the day. Last night I didn't vlog anymore because I literally just ended up, once I got home I was so tired and I just literally cleaned my entire apartment. I just got in one of those moods where I just felt like cleaning and cleaned the entire apartment. And then we, say hi. Hey. we made dinner at home. So there wasn't really anything interesting happening yesterday. I'm gonna say happy Mother's Day to your mother. Happy Mother's Day. I should call my mom. She's probably in church though. We'll see if she answers. No, no response. I'll call her later. I mean, they probably put Okay, we are obviously home and I just sat down and am reading a little bit and I showed you guys yesterday when I like literally just bought these. They're they already almost gone. They're so addicting. This is why I can't buy chocolate. When I buy it, I just I just eat it too much. Is there room for you too, Rory? Are you gonna find somewhere to fit? Where are you gonna go, sweetie? Where are you gonna go? You both just wanna cuddle with mommy? She's gonna leave right on top of him. <laughs> Could you two get any closer? I mean, it works. You did it. <laughs> Rex like does not care. He's like, sure, just lay on top of me. What sweeties? start licking him. Mm -hmm. Wonder why my leggings are always covered in cat hair. Well this would be why. Okay just got back from Target. Decided kind of spontaneously to go run some errands and just wash my hands. I don't know if anyone else is still like that. I guess I am now about to touch the stuff and unpack it but I'll probably wash my hands again. It just feels like still so like hyper conscious of germs nowadays, but wasn't too exciting. Um, but I got a few things I figured I would show you. Let's see. Oh, Rex, are you gonna help? We got some cereal. This cereal has like honestly kind of bad reviews on the app I was noticing the other day, but honestly, I think it's good. I eat it with almond milk and blueberries. Thank you. And I like it, so I've been very into that lately. So we got a box of cereal. I got a couple, three to be exact, Celsius. This is my favorite flavor. It's, it's the peach mango green tea. And then while I was at brunch this morning, Alex's sister, Kristen, was telling me about these Hero Cosmetics pimple patches. So I picked them up because I have, I had a pimple here like last week. Okay, you're not gonna be able to see on camera, but it left like, and I have makeup on, it left like a dark spot on my face that just doesn't wanna go away. So she was telling me about the cream they have, but they didn't have it at my Target, so I just got these patches for dark spots. And then this one is just like the original pimple patch to wear like while you have it. They have a bunch of different ones for different things, but went with these and I'm excited to try them. And then, I got this Tanologist self tan water in the shade medium. I have not self tanned in like two years, if we're being honest. I'm finding myself feeling very pale and with all these weddings I have coming up and showers, I was like, okay, I need to do something and I don't feel like getting, I have a place I go to that I love their spray tans, but that's a lot of work to go and get a spray tan and it doesn't last me it lasts for maybe like two weeks so i didn't want to pay a lot so i found a target brand one i think it was like 16 dollars. so i'm excited to try this i might try it tonight actually so maybe i'll let you know how it is if anyone has any like amazing self-tanning recommendations i don't know we'll see about this water 
but then I don't have a mitt since I haven't used self tanner in like two years. So I quick ran to Ulta and grabbed just like these super cheap, they're literally like a dollar fifty each sunless tan mitts. So I just got like three of these to try out and use. The rest of the stuff I got at Target is too boring to show, but one of them being toilet paper, and he is obsessed with attacking toilet paper. Like already he's gotten into this. Anyways, get on the treadmill and then self tan tonight and finish my book. So that's pretty much the agenda for the day. Having a little salad for dinner. I just made this super quick. I had a bunch of crackers and hummus not too long ago, so I'm not super hungry. It's just kale, avocado, radish, carrots, and pistachios. And then my go-to um, olive and vinegar salad dressing. Okay, you guys, quick tan update. I let it set for like four hours last night and then showered it off. And then this morning, it definitely, I woke up to it a lot darker. Um, I really like the color. I feel like it is like a good color, not too orange, but you guys, I literally failed. It did not look like this last night and I woke up and my hands look so bad. I This is why I don't use self tanner. I don't know. When I used to get spray tans, I would like put lotion on my hands before the spray tan, like just lightly on my hands and feet. And I feel like that actually really helped. So I don't know, is it the same for tanning lotion? Maybe I should have done that. Obviously I didn't put it on my face. I'm like way too scared to use any sort of self tanner on my face. Even like the drops always make me break out. But I did put it up on my neck and I feel like this looks like very natural. It's just my wrists that majorly failed. Also, it smelled really good when I was putting it on and I was like, oh, this is great. Like it smells way better than other ones I've used. No, literally by the time I showered it off, I could hardly stand like being by myself. It smelled so strong. And then last night, like I could still smell it on me all night too. So I don't know, maybe this is just like the game of self tanning. Like, I don't know if it gets any better, but any tanning recommendations or self tanners, seriously, you guys let me know because I want to be tan, but it's not getting warmer out yet. What are you two up to? What are you guys up to? I've been running around all morning. Anyways, I think I am going to end off the vlog here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.